welcome back. I'm gonna show you two new products that I have been amazed with. Juno and Co reached out to me and wanted to send me a palette. So I said, yeah, why not? I love eyeshadow, I will try your palette. And the thing about it is when I get the box, I see this. And I was like, what is that? Clearly it's a sponge, but it's fuzzy. From what it looked like, it was fuzzy and it was blue and I don't have any blue sponges. I don't think I've ever seen a blue sponge, but anyway, it looks fuzzy. It is fuzzy. And then it says microfiber velvet sponge. And I was like, what, Juno? I'm always willing to try a brand new product and see, you know, quality because you don't always have to invest so much money into products to get great quality. Nowadays, you can find really good quality for very inexpensive. So, even though they sent me a beautiful palette, which I'm gonna show you in a second, I was so intrigued by this sponge. Now, I've used this one. This one is actually damp. I'm gonna open this one. I kinda don't want to, because it's brand new, but I'm gonna open it. This is gonna be my backup, because I need to order more. I'm just gonna let you know I love these sponges. So, First off, I love the packaging because it comes up with a little Ziploc type of baggie. So once it's dry, you can kind of store it in there if you wanted to. This is what the sponge looks like brand new and this here is dry. So this one is dry and this one is wet. The color is much more vibrant when it's wet. Obviously it's a lot bluer and this is more of a baby baby blue and then the size difference. It's not that huge of a difference, but there is definitely a difference. Obviously, this one is fluffier and slightly bigger. I want to say it kind of went almost double the size. This is really weird. It does feel like felt. It feels super soft, and I didn't know how I was going to react to this product. So I clearly dove in because I just could not wait. So even though I had no plans of doing my makeup that day, I ended up doing my makeup like really quickly just so that I can give this sponge a try. And I gotta tell you guys, I have only been using this sponge. This is a sponge that I've been using in my recent tutorials and my recent videos and you guys have been asking, okay, what sponge is that? Like, where'd you get that blue sponge from? Juno & Co. This sponge retails for $6. I went ahead and primed my skin. I'm gonna use the CYO foundation. This is a thicker type of formula, but it is a liquid foundation. I will tell you though, I did find that I use less foundation, so less of a product when using this sponge. I usually use two to three pumps, usually two, sometimes three, depending on the foundation, in order to get the coverage that I want. But I feel like, I don't know what it is with this sponge, but I feel like it totally just does not absorb all of your foundation. I feel like maybe the little fuzziness of it kind of keeps it around the surface or something because I get the full coverage that I want without worrying about having to over apply. And this here, guys, I have totally applied my foundation and this was one pump, one. So for those of you who really like light makeup or just so an application that looks a little natural, this is gonna be a sponge that's amazing for you. But at the same time, if you like full coverage, but you don't want it to feel too heavy or you don't wanna overly apply the foundation, but you still want that coverage, this is an amazing sponge. I got it six dollars. Um, and they do have different types. I know that they have like a full round bottom one. Um, this one has the flat bottom and then it has like um, the slant on the side. But they also have the one that kind of looks like the Red Morphe one. And it's flat at the top, which I think I'm going to end up getting. I want that one so bad right now. So um, anyway, moving forward, I want to apply my concealer as well. So I always apply a lot of concealer and this concealer you don't need a lot of but I always would because you guys know I love to use my sponges for under the eyes I also like to set the eye as well like the under eye with a sponge I find that it just gives it such an airbrushed and natural look and so the thing about a regular sponge is it does kind of absorb a lot of the product girl uh, when I started using this sponge, I was like, no, I had overdone it because this, again, does not absorb a lot of your, like, product. So, check this out. This is all I really need. And I went in and blended it out. And I still have the brightness and the coverage that I want out of my concealer without overusing product. So, this is also going to help your makeup last a lot longer. 
and you're not really like that's one of the things that bugs me like I don't like to do two three four pumps and then there's been certain sponges because I've tried a lot of sponges where no lie I apply my concealer I use the sponge and then next thing you know I'm like where'd the concealer go because it absorbed pretty much 90% of it and that's how you know the sponge is not like that great I just can't get over it this is such a good product and so now oh by the way you guys have always asked how do I apply my powder whether or not my sponge is damp yes I absolutely love my sponge when it's damp for my powders because I feel like um it adds to that airbrushed effect and it doesn't give you that powdery look under the eyes now on for the eyeshadow I wanted to show you this palette look how pretty she is this is the summer nights palette it comes in a little slip and I love this is so soft this is also kind of like a felt and it like it stands out from the packaging it's just like really fancy so just to let you know look how pretty she is hold on hold on let me take the little slip off Look how you got a full size mirror and this right here is your palette. Look at those shades. Like this is a palette that everyone would love in a boxy charm, I feel like. And the thing about it is, it retails for $16, but $16, but they sell it for eight. So I really want to show you how these shadows work. I've used them before. They are so beautiful. And these shades are all up my alley because I get my pops of color. But I also have my neutral tones, which you guys know I gravitate towards the most. No matter if I'm doing a pop of color, I need to have some neutral tones. I'm going to use this top shade right here. It's called Bravo. It is so pretty. And yes, I mean, if you don't have this palette and you can't invest in it, then, you know, find shades if you want to recreate this look, obviously. Then find shades that are going to be similar to it. But this brand right here, I feel like, has a very, very extremely affordable uh, products. I am really excited to give the other sponges a try. I really want the one that has like a flat head to it. And you guys know I like to build products, so I am going to use this one right here. It's I-L-Y-S-B. I don't know if that's an actual word or not, so we're just going to move on. Look how pretty. Honestly, these are really pigmented for $8. Are they serious right now? And because my top has a little bit of like berry tones to it, like, like cranberry and stuff, we're going to use High Ground, which is a very, very deep type of plummy burgundy. And we're going to use that on the outer edge. Yes, guys, I use the same brush for pretty much every single eyeshadow. And you still get such amazing pigmentation. This is ridiculous. And to finish off the eyes, I want to try this shimmer tone here. It is a gold and it's called weekend i should have used it this weekend but i didn't so we're gonna apply that one i'm gonna use a flat synthetic brush just because those work a little better for shimmer and pigment type of application oh applications this was literally like one swipe one freaking swipe look at that that's pretty i moved forward and applied the rest of my makeup guys look at these eyeshadow colors look at, i mean you guys saw how they applied super pigmented blended beautifully like butter honestly there wasn't really any fallout that i could see the palette is eight dollars guys eight dollars that is a wrap for this video let me know down below what you guys think i know you guys have been questioning what sponge is it what am I using? Where did I get it from? And that's why I wanted to do this video for you guys. Let me know down below if you're considering giving this sponge and or that palette a try. Honestly, I did. I think you guys should go browse their website. I did see that they have a palette, which is a dupe for the, I think it's called the Just Peachy, that peach palette that I have from um by Too Faced except it's like really cheap it's like 12 bucks it looks the same I think they have a few dupe items that I think you guys would really be interested in because I know I am looking into getting a few things myself as per usual my social media platforms will be right here make sure you follow me there thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video bye guys